me get out of the way. Right, okay, so I'm gonna start with so I'm gonna mask off some areas and create some a smart material. So I'm gonna do this by I'll start by creating my own smart material. Um, and then we'll use some of the preset smart materials. So first off I'm gonna use a um a fill layer. Um, I don't want any height data on here or any message data. Let's go for a red, a dark red, like a plastic. Yeah, like a dull plastic. Yeah, it's nice. That's what we'll do. So if I right click on this fill layer, I can add a mask with color picker. So for some reason I don't have the um, the decal option, um, the poly um, object decal. Um, so I can't just click on a on a piece and pick it. So this color picker is just good for this model because it's got the different material IDs. Which is something that um, I didn't consider, or haven't considered yet, when uh, doing my own model. Um, so it is something that I am going to have to consider. Let's do that bit. Oh, that looks quite nice. Okay. Um, then we'll go we'll put another um, layer. Um, let's have a look. We don't want to miss it. I've left it on. In fact, we will do the eyes now, actually. So I don't want to hide data on this. Um, let's go for a, uh, a green. Quite a bright green. And roughly the same. Can I see it? Gonna do right click mask add mask with color picker pick the eyes. Okay. So now that's a self illuminating um, texture as well. So when we put the shadows on, let's see if I can remember how to do this. So put the shadows on. So put the shadows on. It's quite a light. Uh, let's go for something a bit more like that, a bit dark. There we go. Let's put the shadows on. And uh, the light snap. Uh, rotate environment, shift, right click. So now that we move the shadows around, we should. So this should be here, should have missive. Hmm. I'll have to check that again to find out what I've done wrong there. But basically these should be self the eyes should be self illuminating. So oh sorry, that's why. Because I've picked I've put it in the normal colour is not correct at all. So that needs to be yeah that. otherwise that doesn't work properly. So let's put it in the right channel this time. There we go. The colour picker on there, add mask colour picker. Pick the eyes. Right there we go. So now um we can see that um, as we move the, the camera around, even when it's in shadow, the eyes are illuminating. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Let's turn the shadows off for now, so it's not slowing everything down. And let's carry on. Um, I've textured, textured my um, 
my helmet. Um, I've done a few fill layers and added some masks in here. You can, I'll just switch them on and off. I've added um, an emissive channel onto the eyes so that the eye will um, illuminate uh, when I put the shadows on. Just luckily should do, should be able to show you that. Yeah, there you go. So it's even in darkness, the uh, the eyes light up, which is cool. So I'll just go around. So I can just illuminate again. Um, <coughs> this one is well, there it's like a dark rust. Um, I put another iron rust on there. There, so that one was with a. Um, yeah, that sorry. These ones were um, materials. Yeah, they were materials. Uh, that was a filler, a filler material, material, and this was a smart material. So this one is, yeah, this. So it's got that sort of grunge and and everything. So I'm happy with that. I'm actually going to create. Um, so if I select all of that and add folder. Now if I highlight all that and put into the folder and call it rename where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Um called uh, it is um, SG so let's call it SG that's right so now I'll be able to create smart material and my smart material shows up there so now, if I bring everything back, I should be able to go onto my arms, add a, get rid of that layer, add a smart material, so I'll be able to, where's my SG? That should. Okay, so I'm not sure what I did wrong with this one, but anyway, if I drag it up there and pop it in, I'll get rid of that layer, and then go to head is done, go to the hand gun, and do the same. Put it above. Lay it forearms. I'll put it instead of now. Flashbang. Pop that in there. In the, in the arms. So I have a few bits missing. So obviously a few bits left, so I'll add those in now. Okay, so I had a few material IDs that were on the rest of the body that weren't on the head. So I've just done <coughs> the forearm. I'm gonna go and do the lower body. 
what I've done is just like I created the first material, smart material, I've created another one called SG2. I'll plug that in there, and as you can see, it's uh, added the extra uh, material IDs in. I'll just finish up and add to the upper body SG2 to the bottom of that. And there we have it. I will render that out. And uh, that is the tutorial done. That's um, pretty quick, 15 minutes for some procedural texture. Uh, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some hand painted, add some dirt and, and some weathering and it all looks very clean at the moment and uh, pristine. I want to age it and add some more effects to the materials.